where'd you go? Just out. <sighs> He's so mysterious. Very good, sir. Your father has requested that I inform you that he and your mother will be stopping by for a visit this afternoon. Wow, Ella, they're coming to see me. What a nice surprise. It's not even my birthday. Uh, uh-oh. Is there something wrong? No, I'm all done. Can I go now? Yes, go ahead. See you later. Something is up. I've got to go to school, so I'm counting on you guys to stay out of sight when my parents show up. Gotcha. No problem. Yeah, sure. You can count on us. It won't be for long. Mom and Dad's visits have to be short because they both have busy schedules. Hey, Sonic. Is he mad at me? Don't mind him. Get going, Chris. You'll be late for school if you don't hurry up. Chris sure is happy about his folks' visit, huh, Chuck? Mm -hmm. He is. What do they do? Chris's dad is president of a huge software company. He spends most of his time at the office or traveling on business. And what about his mom? She's a star. A famous actress who jets all around the world making movies. I bet it's pretty tough for Chris not having his parents around most of the time. Yes. He must miss them. <laughs> I've got to think of something. I've got to think of a way to conquer this planet. Perhaps the children. Maybe one of my robots could brainwash the school kiddies so that they'd love me and honor me and look up to me as a hero, and they could persuade their parents to accept me as their ruler. Here are your choices. Let's see. This is a tough one. I'll let the machine decide. Intelligent-looking class. Huh? 
Oh, perhaps I've arrived oh. during nap time. Uh, I'm sorry, what are you? Hmm. I'll give you three guesses, young man. You're a robot? A robot teacher. Hmm. Goodbye, I'm taking over. You are? I am. How's that? Don't <laughs> They're replacing me with a robot, huh? Wait till I give that principal a piece of my mind! Delicious! Oh. How dare you! Oh. I'm glad to know you never hired that robot. My students will be relieved, too. <laughs> oh? And that's how to crack an equation. Mathematics is a breeze when you keep your eye on the pie. Now it's starting to make sense. It's easy. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that robot is a great teacher. Uh, Sit in on his class and study his technique. <laughs> but, sir... <laughs> Thank you, class. It's an honor to teach you. There's something fishy here. I better check this out with headquarters. Chalkboard Charlie calling home room with a code red priority alert. Let me get this straight. You want us to send out our land, sea, and air forces because a robot kicked you out of your classroom? Roger. I'll transmit my coordinates. <laughs> Wait till control hears this! Seems like we're having technical difficulties. I'll have to go to the police. So you were assaulted by a robot who took over your class and now he's holding all your students prisoner? Stay right there, I'll be over in a jiff to investigate. Where is that cop? He's late. Huh? Uh, well, finally! Come on, officer! The kids are in danger! Let's move it! <laughs> Just remember, the robot's dangerous. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. That mechanical menace kidnapped the kids! I've always wanted to play baseball. Shall we? Yeah! <laughs> well, what are we? Play ball! Right there! You knock it down and I'll attempt to disable its power supply. There's no time to lose. Remember to keep your wrist relaxed all through the pitch. Like so. You see? Doesn't seem like those kids are in danger to me. In fact, it looks like they're having a great time. I wish I was out there playing. Stop pigging out and arrest him! Hey! I'm nailing you for bigger burglary! <laughs> Drop that sandwich, scumbo! I wonder if Intelligente has successfully brainwashed those brats into admiring me yet. I'd better look and see how it's going. What's this? I'm ready! Put it over the plate! My first home run! How thrilling! Baseball is such an exhilarating activity! Yeah. 
Intelligente sure is a hit with his students. They love him. He's supposed to make those kids love me, not himself. Good to see you, Dad. Oh, hello, Father. How is everything going here at home? Wonderfully well, now that the two of you are here. When does Chris get back from school? Chris's dad seems like a nice guy. His mom is really pretty. Don't you think so, Sonic? Seems the old retro thrusters aren't as rusty as I thought. <laughs> Reminds me of my early days on the cricket field when I was little bigger than a laptop. <laughs> message for you! <laughs> Bokoon! Dr. Eggman has a message for you! Hmm? A message? How'd you like to visit the junkyard? Do you mean he's miffed at me? Sure the doc's angry at you. Those kids are supposed to get stuck on him, not you, Bucket Brain. That used to be my mission. Huh? Ah! I'm afraid all that's changed. Huh? How come? I was sent here to make these students admire Dr. Eggman, but I found it far more rewarding to be admired myself. What? You blow a circuit or something? Don't you know Dr. Eggman will turn you into scrap metal, you barrel of bolts? Mr. Intelligente, what's going on? Dr. Eggman may do with me as he wishes, but I refuse to abandon the students in my charge. You're the greatest teacher I know. I wish all teachers were as great as you are. Me too. Same here. Oh, thank you. That's wonderful. <laughs> Stop crying and teach those kids to admire Dr. Eggman. <laughs> now I'm crying. He lost it. That crybaby. They should like me. Her. I'll see you all tomorrow, class. See you, see you later. later. Bye, bye. bye bye. I've got to hurry home now, guys. Yeah, how come? Because my mom and dad are coming home for a visit. See ya. Intelligente? Ah! Oh, my hard drive, it's you! I bet you think you're smart for disobeying my orders, you transistorized traitor! But I'll fix you! Oh! No! Please don't disassemble me! Oh, Chris, help me get away! Huh? But what about what you said a few minutes ago when you swore you'd never abandon us no matter what Dr. Eggman threatened to do to you? I really said no matter what? You did. We all heard it. I suppose there's no way around it then. What was I thinking? <laughs> What's so funny? You don't really believe that sniveling circuit box plans to keep his promise. I'm ordering him to keep you in detention where you'll be forced to respect me. No way! What a snake! Listen, robot, unless you want to end up in a scrap heap, you'll follow my orders. Mm -hmm. Sir! I'm not staying. I've got to go home. Not so fast. Uh. You'll stay in detention with the rest till Dr. Eggman dismisses you. <sighs> I wonder what's keeping Chris. He knows you two are here to see him. 
What if there's been an accident? I'm sure my security people would find out and contact me. You're right. He's probably playing with his friends and simply hasn't noticed the time. I wonder what's keeping Chris. Dinner's almost ready. Perhaps I should go and look for him. You know the Thorndikes don't want Chris babied or treated different from other kids? I'm sure he's fine. I'm going to look for the boy. Nelson, have some faith in your son. Huh? Right. He's a level-headed boy, and I'm sure there's a good reason why he's late. We have to stay calm! He hasn't changed since he was a boy. I'm getting worried now, too. Hey, Sonic, could you go look? Huh. For today's art class, we will sketch the illustrious figure of the great Dr. Eggman. As you draw, take special note of the doctor's noble visage and dignified bearing. Does this pose inspire you? How about something more dynamic? Uh, it doesn't matter how Eggman stands, he'll always look terrible. Perhaps a pose like a champion! You mean a chump! You're so busy showing off, you haven't noticed we're under attack! Hmm. I always knew you were a poser, Eggman! Hmm. Intelligente! Yes, sir! Get rid of Sonic! Who's Sonic? <sighs> yes, sir! Whatever you say! Sonic, your prize. What prize? A little reward for your victory. I don't want a booby prize. Fine, you take it. No thanks, keep it. Yuck, who'd want that? Nasty. All right, I'll wear it myself. Bye. <laughs> He's a weirdo. Yeah. He could keep me after school for a million years and I still wouldn't admire him. You better hurry home, Chris. Your parents are waiting. Yeah, that's right. Oh. He's so cool. He sure is. Maybe there's more to being a school teacher than just passing out homework and taking naps in class. Enjoying my burger, Bob? Oh. Hey, get back here! Stop chewing, you thief! One more nibble and I'll call out the SWAT team! I told your mother you could look after yourself, but she wouldn't listen. Sorry, <laughs> I got held up at school. <laughs> of course, I knew there was absolutely nothing to worry about. You know, when I was your age, I was kept after school a few times myself. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Chris is better behaved than you were, dear. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's for sure. Actually, Chris, your father was more worried about your absence than he lets on. Wasn't he, Tanaka? Well, Mr. Thorndike was concerned enough to phone the president. Huh? And Mrs. Thorndike called all the TV networks to get a bulletin on the nightly news. Oh, I didn't call all of them. The Thorndikes seem like a real nice family, don't they, Amy? I'm glad Chris made it back home in time. 
Uh-huh. It always feels good to get back home.